Didi Chuxing Technology Co., stylized Didi, Chinese, Dai Dai Chuxing Pinyin, Didi Chuxing, pronounced TTU acute, formerly Didi Kuaidi, Chinese, Dai Dai Kuaida is a Chinese ride sharing, artificial intelligence AI, and autonomous technology conglomerate. It is headquartered in Beijing. It provides services including taxi hailing, private car hailing, social ride sharing, bike sharing and food delivery to users in China via a smartphone application, formed from the merger of rival firms Didi Dash and Kuaidi Dash backed by two major Chinese internet companies, Tencent and Alibaba respectively. It was initially valued as of June 2016 at approximately $28 billion. Didi acquired Uber's China unit in 2016. In December 2017, Didi closed a $4 billion financing round, becoming the second most valuable startup company in the world after Ant Financial, with over $56 billion worth of valuation, and backed by over 100 investors. The company now carries 30 million rides per day. In May 2017, Didi started to develop an English version of its app and services. In 2018, Didi launched its own branded mobility services in Mexico and Australia, and a joint venture with SoftBank Corp. to offer taxi hailing service in Japan. Recently, it has also been involved in autonomous driving and artificial intelligence AI, hiring researchers and investing in these areas. History Topic: 2012–2015, founding of Didi Dash Cheng Wei, having worked for Alibaba for eight years, founded Didi Dash. He was left to create his own company because he recognized that cabs were very difficult to catch, particularly during rush hour. Most importantly he missed several flights because he could not hail a cab in time. In June 2012, Orange Technology was established and Didi Dash, Dai Dai Dache meaning Beep beep call a taxi, or Chinese, Dai Dai Da Che literally, Didi Taxi Calling. The initial incarnation of Didi Chucking's ride hailing service was launched as an app for consumers to request taxis for immediate pickup by Cheng Wei. Beijing Xiaojun developed the app. Later, the app allowed consumers to reserve taxis for trips in the next day. The company was backed by China's giant Tencent in November 2012. A $15 million funding was provided by Tencent. However, Kuaidi Dash was backed by Alibaba and the two rivals are fighting against each other. In 2013, Didi Dash completed its Series B financing. Series C was completed in 2014. In the same year, Jean Liu, Liu King, a former Goldman Sachs Asia Managing Director, joined the company as its COO. She became president of the company the following year. The mobile platform Taxi Calling application was developed by Chinese mobile application company Beijing Xiaojuki Ji Co., Ltd. The application is one of the major taxi apps in China, with over 100 million users in more than 300 cities. It was established in June 2012. 2015, merger of Didi Dash and Kuaidi Dash Didi Kuaidi is the result of the February 2015 merger between taxi hailing firms Didi Dash backed by Chinese internet giant Tencent Holdings Limited and Kuaidi Dash backed by Alibaba Group. A study in December 2013 by Analysis International, cited by Reuters, estimated Didi Dash to hold approximately 55% of the smartphone-based taxi hailing market about 150 million Chinese were estimated to use their smartphones to hail taxis, with Kuaidi Dash holding nearly all of the rest of the market share. 
however, a protracted price war in an effort to gain market share had resulted in mounting losses for the two companies, despite Didi Dash and Kuaidi Dash raising $700 million and $600 million from private investors, respectively, to sustain their growth in the world's largest transport market. According to the press release on the 2015 merge, Didi Dash and Kuaidi Dash would operate in parallel with separate management teams. The combined company was estimated to be worth around $6 billion. It was not clear whether the merger may have violated China anti monopoly law. As of May 2015, Didi Dash was to spend another 1 billion Chinese yuan $161 million on aggressive promotions and advertising in order to consolidate its dominant position against startups such as Yidao Yongshe Chinese, Yidao Yongche and Uber, who has Baidu, the third largest Chinese Internet company, as an investor. This included adding other features alongside its basic taxi calling function such as the ability to carpool, hire premium cars, hire designated drivers and use a special service for passengers with disabilities. Cakeson reported that in June 2015 the company had a market share in car hire service of 80.2%. In July 2015, the company completed a $2 billion fundraising round, bringing the company's cash reserves to over $3.5 billion. This is the world's largest single fundraising round by any private company, as well as the largest fundraising round for a Chinese mobile Internet company. The new investors included Capital International Private Equity Fund and Ping'an Ventures, part of Ping'an Insurance Group Co. of China Limited. Its existing stakeholders, including Alibaba, Tencent, Tomasek Holdings Private Limited and Kochu Management, also participated in this fundraising round. By September 2015, the company had a market share in private cars of 80% and in taxis of 99%. In 2015, Didi Kuaidi invested in Grataxi, a taxi hailing app in Southeast Asia. Topic: 2015 to 2017 rebrand and global expansion. In September 2015, Didi Kuaidi rebranded itself as Didi Chuxing. In December 2015, taxi drivers protested against Didi Dash and Kuaidi Dash. Both companies were forced to close their offices in the city of Luoyang. Since 2015, Didi has invested in Grab, Lyft, Ola, Uber, 99, Taxify, and Kareem. Didi's acquisition of Uber's operation in China might cloud the partnership. Around the start of 2016, the company was engaged in a fierce price war with American rival Uber, which started operations in China in 2015. The competition with Uber China which operated in 40 Chinese cities led to Uber's CEO Travis Kalanick to claim the company is losing over $1 billion annually on its Chinese operations, despite their local unit being valued at around $8 billion after a recent billion-dollar fundraising round. This was confirmed by Uber's Chinese officials in an email to Reuters in February 2016. Despite Kalanick claiming that, "...we have a fierce competitor that's unprofitable in every city they exist in, but they're buying up market share." A spokesman from Didi Chuxing responded in an email to Reuters that Uber's assertions were untrue and that, "...smaller competitors have to bleed subsidies to make up for their insufficient driver and rider network." The spokesperson further said that Didi Chuxing had passed the break even mark in over half of the 400 Chinese cities they operate in. In June 2016, Didi closed a $4.5 billion fundraising round, with investors including Apple Inc., China Life Insurance Co., and the financial affiliate of online shopping firm Alibaba Group Holding Ltd. This fundraising round is the world's largest equity share fundraising round by any private company, updating the previous record set by Didi. 
In addition, Didi has secured a $2.5 billion syndicated loan arranged by China Merchants Bank Co. Didi also raised roughly $300 million in debt from China Life. Topic: <laughs> Competition with Uber. Uber entered the Chinese market in August 2013. However, Uber lost approximately $2 billion trying to compete with Didi Dash and Kuai Dai Dash. Backers of the taxi apps, Tencent and Alibaba are rivals with China's biggest search engine Baidu, who is funding Uber to fight Didi Dash. While Baidu is competing against Didi Dash with Uber, Baidu is also fighting against Alibaba and Tencent directly. On the 1st of August 2016, Didi announced that they would acquire Uber China. This acquisition valued the company at $35 billion. With the deal, Uber acquired 5.89% of the combined company with preferred equity interest which is equal to a 17.7% .7 economic interest in Didi. Didi will also obtain a minority equity interest in Uber. Under the terms of the deal, Cheng Wei has become a board member of Uber and Travis Kalanick has got a seat on Didi's board. Topic 2017 present artificial intelligence technologies. On the 28th of March 2017, the Wall Street Journal reported that SoftBank Group Corporation had approached Didi Chuxing Technology Co. about investing six billion dollars to help the ride-hailing firm expand in self-driving car technologies, with the bulk of the money to come from SoftBank's planned 100 billion dollars vision fund. On 28 April 2017, Didi announced it closed a new financing round of over $5.5 billion to support its global strategy and continued investments in AI based technologies, making the company worth $50 billion. In December, Reuters reported that Didi had raised $4 billion for a global push into foreign markets and investments into technologies such as artificial intelligence, in an apparent bid to challenge Uber. On 24 July 2017, Didi pumped $2 billion into Grab, this would deepen the latter's pocket to trump Uber in Southeast Asia. Didi announced it would invest $1 billion in its auto services platform in August 2018. On the 27th of August 2018, Didi Chuxing officially suspended its hitch services due to the mugging, rape and murder case of a woman by the driver. It was the second case in a year which caused Didi to act on the issue and reform its platform with ensured safety standards. Until the business model was thoroughly reviewed the company decided to let the services remain suspended. In September 2018, Didi announced an investment of $20 million in customer service and announced a net loss of RMB 4 billion for the first half of the year on the 28th of November 2018 its founder and CEO Cheng Wei released a letter detailing the company's moves to step up safety oversight and meet new government rules including a training program for drivers a number of DD drivers said they were considering quitting because the cost of compliance outweighs the return Drivers need to, for instance, study and pass an exam to attain the desired papers. They must also register their car as a commercial vehicle and scrap it after eight years. To attract drivers, Didi plans to offer training sessions and help them legalize. Services <laughs> 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 Didi is an application where taxis, private cars and designated drivers can be hired via smartphone. It is similar to apps such as Grataxi in Southeast Asia. It serves 550 million users across over 400 cities including Taxi, Express, Premier, Lux, Hitch, Bus, Minibus, Designated Driving, Enterprise Solutions, Bike Sharing, E-Bike Sharing, Car Sharing and Food Delivery. 
As many as 30 million rides were completed on Didi's platform on a daily basis. A total of 7.43 billion rides were completed on Didi's platform in 2017. Didi Taxi, about 2 million drivers operating in over 400 cities in China and Brazil. Didi partners with 500 taxi companies to upgrade services. Didi Express, operating in about 400 cities with an express pool option. Didi Express Pool carries over 2.4 million daily rides. Didi Premier, upgraded brand in 2018, accompanied by a new logo and a full suite of product and service upgrades. Highlights of the upgrades, including a dedicated 24 7 customer service hotline in Chinese and English. New in trip online services, including in app table booking services. Enhancements to existing specialist services, including premier vehicles equipped with child seats, adapted for riders with disabilities, and special arrangements for the visually impaired traveling with a guide dog. Improved personalized services, such as raincoats, air purifiers and massage seats, designated driving, operating in about 200 cities, enterprise solution, about 170,000 corporate clients, Didi Bus, launched initially in Beijing and Shenzhen as a WeChat-based trial in 2015. In Beijing, Didi took over Kaola Bus Kaola Banche fleet and operation in September 2015. By the time of Didi Bus's official launch in October 2015, Didi Bus was providing 1,500 daily rides and transporting approximately 500,000 daily commuters. Didi Minibus – Didi started to offer minibus rides in December 2016, aiming to provide last three kilometer connection to and between public transport hubs, Didi Select – over 1 million rides a day, bike sharing – Didi has added bike sharing service from OFO to its app since April 2017. Didi's bus service will enter into an enhanced partnership with OFO. Ofo's bike routing analytics will help refine the AI-powered algorithms in Didi's real-time bus tracker to better respond to users' differentiated short-distance mobility needs and design more efficient bike-bus transfer options. On 17 January 2018, Didi launched its own bike-sharing platform, which integrates companies OFO, Bluegogo and Didi branded bikes, Tencent and Alibaba's apps are all open to allied developers like Lyft. In January 2019, Didi announced a launch of lending and insurance services. The new services will be available for users as well as for drivers. Such measures were taken to prepare the company for tackling the challenges OS 2019. Topic: Technology. Artificial intelligence (AI). Didi has established the Didi Research Institute to focus on AI technologies, including machine learning and computer vision. It hopes the technologies optimize its dispatch system and route planning. A few hundred scientists work on deep learning technologies at the institute. Didi launched AI Labs in Beijing and Didi Labs in Mountain View, California. Didi Labs mainly focuses on AI based security and intelligent driving technologies, big data operation. Every day, Didi's platform generates over 70 terabytes worth of data, processes more than 20 billion routing requests, and produces over 15 billion location points. Now Didi is building a cloud platform with integrated anonymized data from sensors on vehicles, static information and real-time events from roads and streets with Didi's pick-up and drop-off data, trips and carry capacity. With this platform, transportation supply and demand can be balanced efficiently, and congestion can be significantly mitigated. Smart transportation. Didi has launched smart traffic lights, smart transportation screen, reversible lane, thermodynamic diagrams of designated drivers, smart bus, smart traffic report, and other programs in China. 
Didi now helps manage over 1,300 traffic lights in 20 mainland Chinese cities including Beijing, Jinan, Wuhan and Guiyang. Globalization August 2016, Didi acquired Uber China and obtained an equity interest in Uber. January 2017, Didi made a strategic investment in 99, Brazil's largest local shared mobility provider. Didi will provide strategic guidance and support to 99 in the areas of technology, product development, operations and business planning. July 2017, Didi co-led a new financing round of Grab. August 2017, Didi formed a strategic partnership with Taxify, a leading ridesharing company in Europe and Africa. In the same month, Didi also formed a strategic partnership with Kareem, the leading ride-hailing and internet platform in the Middle East and North Africa. December 2017, Didi was reportedly planning to expand operations to Mexico, perhaps Uber's most profitable market to date. January 2018, Didi agreed to acquire 99, a Brazilian ride-hailing app, for $600 million. Didi had already bought a $100 million stake in 99 in January 2017, which also gave it the management rights in the app. In the same month, Didi authorized Leddy Technology Co. as its franchisee to operate taxi hailing business in Taiwan. February 2018, Didi launched its new app in Hong Kong, which is an upgraded version of Kuaidi Taxi. The Kuaidi Taxi app had been used since 2015. It was also announced that Didi will, along with SoftBank Group, begin a venture in Japan. April 2018, Didi starts operation under its main name in Mexico, their first market outside Asia where operates with this name. The service is offered in the city of Toluca near Mexico City, and is seen as the biggest Uber competitor, ahead of rivals like Cabify and Easy Taxi. June 2018, Didi starts operation in Australia on 25 June. July 2018, Didi and Tokyo-based SoftBank Corp. have set up a joint venture for taxi hailing in Japan. The service will roll out later this year, starting with a free trial run in Osaka, and expanding to Kyoto, Fukuoka, Okinawa and Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> Leadership Cheng Wei, Cheng Wei, one of the founders of Didi Dash, has been the CEO of Didi Chuxing since the 2015 merge between Didi Dash and Kuaidi Dash. Cheng Wei worked in Alibaba Group for eight years before he set foot in entrepreneurship. In Alibaba, he spent his first six years in the sales of B2B business line and two years in Alipay service. After the acquisition of Uber China, he joined Uber's board of directors. Cheng Wei holds a BA from Beijing University of Chemical Technology. Jean Lu Luking is the current president of Didi Chuxing. Jean joined in Didi in July 2014 from her previous position as managing director in Goldman Sachs Asia for 12 years. Jean is a member of the Harvard Graduate School of Arts and Sciences Alumni Association Council, and a member of the board of directors of One Foundation. Jean earned her BA from Peking University and her MS from Harvard University, both in computer science. Jean received an honorary Doctor of Commercial Science from New York University. Topic <laughs> CSR Employment from 2017 to 2018, Didi provided over 30 million flexible and equitable job opportunities for people, including a considerable number of women, laid off workers from traditional sectors, and veteran soldiers. Around 3.9 million drivers are military veterans. In addition, nearly 2.3 million female drivers work with Didi to provide reliable mobility services, making up 10% of drivers on the Didi platform. 
Among them, 80% are mothers with young children who are able to find flexible work and income opportunities through Didi's platform. Didi also supports more than 4,000 innovative SMEs, which provides more than 20,000 jobs additionally. Diversity 40% of Didi's employees are women. In 2017, Didi launched a female career development plan and the establishment of the Didi Women's Network. It is reportedly the first female oriented career development plan in a major Chinese Internet company. Topic Honors 2015, Didi was announced as a Davos Global Growth Company. 2016, Didi was included in Fortune Change the World list. 2016, Didi was named one of the world's 50 smartest companies by MIT Technology Review. 2017, Didi was nominated as one of the best five startups for TechCrunch's 10th Annual Crunchies Awards. 2018, Didi was included in Fast Company's Top 10 Most Innovative Companies in China list. 2018, Didi was included in the Global Clean Tech 100 list by Clean Tech Group. 2018, Didi was named on CNBC's Disruptor 50 list. <laughs> 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 <